Hey guys, welcome back to Love What You Drive. That's how you do a pan drop transmission fluid five quart change with a transmission filter. So we will be using Valvoline Max Life automatic transmission fluid, and we're going to be using the CarQuest um, transmission filter kit with gasket and filter. Hi, friends. Go ahead and dive under the car. and just locate what you can already see is this we are going to go ahead and start working on it there's no easy way to do it but to just go ahead and grab each of these bolts take them out now there are ways where you would un unhook a feeding line from behind the front bumper if you were to go ahead and replace all of the transmission fluid which is al almost I believe 15 quarts but we are just doing a pan drop filling it back up with four four and a half quarts of transmission fluid and changing out the filter that is under that pan i got a pail since the car is leaning more towards the back i'm gonna just put this here and start loosening the bolts and see where that takes us so there's initially one two about 14 i'm not gonna say or 15 bolts i'm gonna start with this back one so that the fluid can leak out there and these are 10 10 millimeter bolts on the ratchet let's get it these bolts are pretty easy to take off they're very on there very lightly this one's pretty hard back here it's pretty tough And it's off. Looks like the thread on this one's a little bit, the beginning of it is stripped. Oh. There it goes. It's starting to drip out. We're gonna keep going as it keeps on draining. Yep, it's messy. I'm sure there's easier ways, like I said, to dis disconnect the feed lines and just have uh, the pump pump it out. But here we live and learn. I think most of it is out. Let's take a look. It's a pretty good amount. Hi. Yep. So we got about we got four bolts left. No. Yeah, it's just fine here. Can I be in your video? Yeah, you can be in my video. Let me take this off and then you can help me clean it. Okay. I got last bolt right here. Okay. This might get a little messy right now. We're gonna pour it out. This was in the pan. Guess I gotta figure out where that goes. All right, and there you have it. It's off. So this is what it looks like under here. This is the filter. We're gonna be switching this out. It's gonna get uh, let it drain. As you can see, there's some more oil left in here. We're gonna take it off, clean it up. And the good thing is, on the oil pan here, it says that it is equipped with a reusable gasket right here. So the CarQuest filter I got comes with a new gasket, but I think I will reuse this Ford original gasket on the pan. I'm gonna just pull this stuff out. Okay, 
here we have it. Here, do you want to hold this? Yeah, are we going to use this? I'm going to take this gasket off. I'm going to clean it up. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. Just needs a good cleaning. It feels very sturdy. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay. All the metal yeah, shavings on this magnet. That's gross. Oh yeah, it's very gunky. Gross. Is that gross? It is a little gross. Yeah. It does a little. A little gross okay. because it's black. Well, I'm going to wash that. Yeah, there's some oil on the mat. Yeah, so this... I'm not going to be washing that. Magnet. I'm not going to wash that. Look at all that metal shavings. I'm not going to wash that. That is gunky. It just moves around. So, not sure if I should be touching this. But, we're going to get it all cleaned up. That magnet is really sticky. Mm hmm. To your stuff. Okay, so I got some brake parts cleaner that we're going to use. Put this here. Put that there. Okay. Do you want to help me? Yeah. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. Go ahead and spray some of this stuff in there. It's getting everywhere. Mm -hmm. Oh, it smells gross. Guys, if you're using it, it smells gross. So don't smell it. Guys, I'm here. You're using the sprayer. Don't smell it because it smells gross. It smells okay. just like a car part. <laughs> you heard it. it. Smells like a car part. So don't smell it. I'm going to just let it drain out. So, right here, it says Pan is equipped with a reusable gasket. Ford. So, we're going to reuse the gasket. I'm going to just give it a spray from out here. And guys, if you use it, it will get everywhere, so you have to have something under it, so, okay? All right, thank you. That was the tip of the day from Mechanic Hannah. Just gonna wipe it really good. Spray down brake parts cleaner. Good. Does it look nice clean? and shiny. Nice and shiny, okay. So we're gonna get all this metal shavings, all this gunk off of it. That's good. So we'll place the magnet back where it belongs. There's this hump with the three little three little symbols here. Or and we put the magnet put it there. Back there. And the pan is pretty much ready to go back. And now we're gonna go and uh, dive back under the car. To get the filter off, let me show you the filter. Okay. Here's the filter. Oh, the filter. Part number 85955. Eight. And on here it's a service fill, five quarts recommended fluid. Eight. Oh, this five, is neat. So it's. Nine. So it's, uh, it tells you how much you need to refill after uh, the pan drop on the filter. That's interesting. That's helpful. Here's the filter. This is the gasket, but it's so flimsy. I'm sure it'll do the job, but mine looks pretty good. I'm, I don't know if uh, the transmission pan has been dropped on this car before. I got it at 77,000 miles. Um, I'm at about 83,000 right now. So I'm not sure if it was ever changed or if it was ever uh, serviced. I know the instructions or the manual says every 60,000. 
on Mercury's. So I'm just gonna do it now and uh, have a better night's sleep knowing that it's been serviced. Also, I believe we gotta watch out for once we get under the car to see if this O-ring stays inside the transmission or not. So once we get under there, I will show you how it, it pops out and, and what we're gonna do with it. Okay, we are back under the car and the camera is facing from the driver's side. If you're sitting inside the car, the camera is coming in from the left angle. Now I'm gonna pop this filter off. It should come off pretty easy. It's connected right here. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, uh, did you leak it I on I was yourself? not expecting that. Okay. <laughs> it looks like you had a big fall. All right. So, that is off. Now let's see if we can get it on without and the leaking. As you can see, the rubber band or the rubber piece here stayed on, stayed here on the, so we don't have to worry about worry about it being it, stuck inside the transmission and block. And put it back on. Yeah. What I am curious to know is where this little piece came off. It was laying in the oil pan. Um, I'm gonna have to look it up what it is or where it comes from. I did some research on what this thing is. And this is a transmission fluid dipstick plug that comes from the factory so they plug it up until they put the dipstick in and when they do it just falls through and so it's a good sign that this fluid in this pan has never been dropped since the factory um, and my mercury grand marquee which is a 2006 has 83,000 miles I got it a few months ago with 77,000 miles and I know that the instruction manual or the owner, owner's manual says to do the transmission fluid change about every 60,000 miles. All you got to do is remove it, take it out, don't worry about it, and proceed with your, um, with your uh, fluid change. Uh, before putting in the new filter, I just wanted to do a little comparison to see. This is the CarQuest filter that comes with the gasket. And this is from what I understand is the original filter. It says made in USA and it says, if I'm not mistaken, filled pan, micro felt, and it gives you a SAE, it's kind of a part number. So I think this is our original filter. And this is the CarQuest new filter that we're gonna be putting in. The pan is clean, the gasket is reusable, we cleaned it, and the magnet that's inside the pan has also been cleaned. So let's just go ahead, jump right in to put these things back on there. All right, we are back under the car, and we're gonna proceed with putting back the filter. I'm gonna what the transmission looks like if you've never seen it now we're gonna put the filter back on the rubber gasket is here and all it does is just pop I'm guessing these holes here are for these bolts so it lines up this is for right here we're just gonna put it in pop just wiggle it on there we go just like that. And now we're gonna proceed with the pan itself. I think how the gasket is, it's only one way, one way to put it in. So you can't really mess it up. But I'm gonna just line it up as best as I can. Put this side in first because the lip and this uh, bracket here is in the way. Put it in like this. Then gently, so you don't move the gasket, just line it up. And now I'm gonna hand tighten a few bolts across from one another, so I don't have to hold the pan by hand the whole time. Just put one here, line up the gasket with the bolt and the hole. 
Put one in this corner. Now I'm just gonna put all of them back in, hand tightening them first. Not too. It is quite messy, I'll tell you. Quite messy. Everything's in transmission fluid. It's greasy, oily. But here at Love What You Drive, it's all about the DIY. It's all about getting your hands dirty. It's all about doing the work yourself and enjoying the labor of your hard work. That's what I'm all about here. If you do it yourself, you appreciate it that much more. If you do it yourself, you understand how some things work. You seem to cherish and care for things a little a little more when you know that you've put in your labor, your time, your effort, your finances to make things last that you own. So here at Love What You Drive is to focus on what you already have, to love what you already have. Now these back ones here, because of this bracket, you just put it in on your uh, extension, slide it through like this, and screw it in. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go crisscross and start tightening them, the bolts that way. Again, 10 millimeter socket. And just gently tighten the four corners first. Just gentle tight around and gently tighten each one. Now, so what I'm gonna do is just uh, tighten them kind of tight but not make sure not to over tighten them just wanted to squeeze that rubber gasket but not to bust the threads on the bolts or the transmission We're done here. Now let's go fill it up through the dipstick. Oh, this is gonna smell. I got this Valvoline Max Life Full Synthetic Dramatic Transmission Fluid. I tried to find Motocraft brand. I went to Advanced Auto Parts. I went to the local Walmart. I went to uh, Pep Boys. They did not have Motocraft. I did not go to the dealer. So I got the next best thing which will be this Valvoli. So here's our transmission fluid dipstick. It says on there, use Mercon 5. I'm gonna set up the camera here and then we will start filling it. We're gonna start filling up the transmission fluid right through the dipstick port. It calls for five quarts. So we're gonna use the five quart jug and then start measuring measuring out once we start getting towards the end. I made a homemade funnel out of my daughter's little uh, watering pot. I could not find a funnel for the life of me. So here is the port and we are just gonna start filling. Oh, if I could get to it. Okay, so that is pretty much five quarts. I have a little bit left there just in case I need to add it. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in. Of course it shows that it's there, but we need to check the transmission fluid while the engine is running. Just gonna clean up any of the spill. Okay, now what we're gonna do is, yes, so we're gonna now start the car and uh, go through every gear and let the pump and the transmission fluid do its thing, go through the system and then we'll check the, uh, the feeler gauge to see if we need to add more. Parking. Reverse, new 
neutral. Drive, second, first, and now going back, second, drive, neutral, reverse, parking, over drive off, and just gonna go through it again. Okay, now we'll feel or we'll see the dipstick or the filler gauge and see where it's at. Looking a little low. Okay, so we topped off the transmission fluid. Everything is clear and check. We checked into the car, no leaks. We'll give it a drive around the town and we'll double check once it has a full cycle run through of everything. And that's how you do a pan drop transmission fluid, five quart change with the transmission filter. Now, I just wanted to show you guys what the original transmission fluid looks like that was in here and I don't think it has been changed because of that plug because of this dipstick plug that was still in the oil pan so we're gonna leave that out but I wanted to show you what a, a clean transmission fluid looks like and also what the one that I pulled out of my transmission so I'm gonna put it here on this side now you can see it it's uh, reddish but it's kind of brown just kind of let it run there and here's the new transmission fluid pour some in here so we can see the difference look at that one super pink almost purplish looking so this one on the right is brand new this is the valvoline automatic transmission fluid and this brownish orange is the old probably original on my mercury with 83,000 miles so you can see the difference which is not bad. I mean, compared to the new one, it does look pretty old. And there's the new one. So, so whenever we look at our dipstick, we can definitely see the condition. If we were to change it on time at about 60,000 miles, I'm sure it wouldn't be too much different than this. But since it's been already 83,000 miles, and there you have it, guys. There you see it. Thanks for tuning in to Love What You Drive. I'll see you in the next video and on the next project.